This video is on the course of linear algebra and we are still introducing vectors in the vector space. Okay, now we are on the, the um, linear combinations. So please check the previous video for that. And we want to know now if V, this vector V, can be uh, written as a linear combination of, so the vector v is vector 2 minus 3, 4, as a linear combination of these three vectors. So we have three vectors here, u1, u2, u3. u1 is the vector 1, 1, 1, u2 is the vector 1, 1, 0, and u3 is the vector 1, 0, 0. Uh, please verify that u1, u2, and u3, they all belong to the space of R3, right? Okay. Now the question is, can we write vector v, this vector here, 2 minus 3, 4, as a linear combination of u1, u2, u3? So, uh, if that is possible, there will be an x, an y, and a z, such that multiplying these three vectors by these three scalars we will get vector v of course x y and z they will all be real numbers okay do not mistake this for the, the vector space these are scalars okay so this is a scalar multiplication please check the previous videos for for all that okay we have some calculations ahead so I think is it is more handy for this to write the vector v as a or the vectors. If we write v, we have to write them all as as column vectors, right? So that will be the vector two minus three four. It will be equal to x the scalar times one 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 y. Um, y times 1, 1, 0, and z times 1, 0, 0. OK. So x times 1 is x, 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 y, y, 0, and z, or z, 0, 0. So the first component, x plus y plus z, here, x plus y plus 0, here, there should be a zero here and x plus zero plus zero plus zero, right? So I, I I took these two out. So now we have a system, right? X plus y plus uh, z equals two. X plus y equals minus three. And x equals four. Okay. Uh, I think this is not hard, so we already have x, x equals 4, y equals minus 7, and z equals 5, and for this I'm trusting a book my wife got, so <laughs> I'm not doing the calculations, but, um, well, this is not hard, because if x is 4, 4 here, right, so y equals minus 3, minus 4, it's minus 7, so it's, it's, difficult to go wrong here. Okay? Okay, let's go back to our question. Our, our question was, can we write the vector v as a linear combination of u1, u2, u3? Well, we got values for x, for y, and for z, right? So, yes, we can. So, the answer, the answer is yes, Yes, vector v can be written as a linear combination of 4 times u1 plus, these are scalars, we just found scalars, right? Minus 7 times u2 plus 5 times u3. So v can be written as 
a linear combination of these three vectors.